and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. It's happened. Yes, it has finally happened. The Empire Strikes Back Revisited is finally available. I have been anticipating The Empire Strikes Back Revisited for close to 10 years. I think it's been about 10 years, maybe 9, but... I have been anticipating this for such a long time. The editor, or the fan editor, of The Empire Strikes Back Revisited is a person who goes by Addy Wan, and he does a phenomenal job. I'm not a purist. I, I love Star Wars. I love The Empire Strikes Back. I love Return of the Jedi. But I am not a purist. And if there's any way that those movies can be improved, then by all means improve them. But there's a limitation to making those changes and making improvements. Uh, a perfect example is, or should I, are, the special editions that were released in the 90s. I believe they were released in 1997. And Star Wars comes out. It includes scenes like Jabba the Hutt. We get to see a CG version of Jabba the Hutt, which was absolutely Horrible looking. Now, I think at the time, I may have enjoyed it. I'm not really sure. I'm not remember. I think I was looking at it with rose-colored glasses. And I may have been just excited to see Star Wars on the big screen again. And I may have not really paid attention to how the quality of Jabba the Hutt. So, at the time, I probably was really excited and loved it. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is really cool. This extra scene, it, it's, it's amazing, wow. Um, but at, at, as years have gone by, you know, I've, I've seen the, I, the rose-colored glasses have come off and it's absolutely abysmal and the scene is actually unnecessary and rather redundant. Um, and then there's the infamous Greedo shoots first scene that we know as we all know, is one of the worst things to have done to Star Wars, the Star Wars Special Edition, the Star Wars movie itself. Those were the big mistakes. Those were the big missteps when doing the Special Editions and, and, and you know, trying to improve the movies. But what I thought was great about Star Wars, the Special Edition, the scenes where everything was maybe used with CG, like, like the space battle scene where they improve the look of the um, X-Wings and the TIE Fighters. And actually, I liked how they look. And that's where I'm okay, is when they're, the changes in the movie actually add or help or improve the movies in such, way, in such a way that it doesn't deter from the enjoyment of the movie. Like the Jabba the Hutt scene and the Greedo Shoots first scene were just unnecessary and they just deter from the enjoyment of the movie because you sit there thinking what come on and then we have the empire strikes back special edition and there was a lot of improvements in this the special edition of the empire strikes back i really like there's the one scene where luke after um darth vader reveals that he's his father and luke jumps they actually improved on that the, the effect on that scene um because in the original The Empire Strikes Back, it actually looked like, you know, uh, it, it looked didn't blend in with the background when he was falling, and it looked terrible. Um, but then the special edition, unfortunately, they added Luke Skywalker screaming. And that was completely unnecessary. And it deters from the fact that Luke actually made the choice to jump. So why would he scream? And besides, I believe it's the same scream as the Emperor after he's being thrown over by Darth Vader. In the DVD, I think the first DVD release they, they came out with, they improved it. But again, scenes that, that, were, that work was basically just fixing some of the flaws, um, like Luke falling, that was great. But making him scream, not so much. 
And then Return of the Jedi, uh, when they added the, when they removed Lopty Neck. And then they had Jedi Rocks in it using CGI. That, that's, that's, that was just unnecessary. As well as seeing the Sarlacc monster coming out. <laughs> you know, that's really unnecessary as well. Um, but any fix... Now I said any anything that fixes special effects, improves the special effects, I'm totally okay with. This is a change that I'm okay with because by showing how huge this door is, it actually shows that Jabba the Hutt's palace has some grandeur to it. So those are done. The special editions are done. And after uh, Phantom Menace is released, uh, I learn of something called the Phantom Edit. And I thought, well, what's the Phantom Edit? What is that all about? And I learned about a site called uh, Fan Edits. And it's where all these um, fans would basically um, share their uh, interpretation of an already released movie. So basically they edit it in a different way. Um, they cut scenes out or they add scenes or they change the colors or whatever they want to do with it. And they, not only movies, they actually done it with t television shows as well. But that's where I discovered the fan edit of Phantom Menace. Yeah, the Phantom Edit is an improvement on the Phantom Menace, but it still doesn't improve the movie itself. So that's when I discovered fan edits. And I just love fan edits and I just kept downloading and downloading different fan edits of different movies. And then I found one called Star Wars Revisited. Star Wars Revisited is an amazing edit of Star Wars. Again, Star Wars Revisited is edited by 81. And he did an amazing job of... Basically what he did with, with Star Wars Revisited, he took the original Star Wars, he took the special edition of Star Wars... And then he used his own augmentations or his own editing, his own um, additional special effects. He combined all three of, of these parts of, of Star Wars and he created an amazing version of Star Wars. And like I said, I'm not a purist and Star Wars Revisited for for me, is a definitive version of Star Wars. I love this version of Star Wars because basically what 81 did, he took out all the problems that um, were associated with Star Wars, like um, some some effects that weren't so great. Um, he fixed those. He fixed color. Um, he kept the special edition, like this, the space battle scene, but then he ex augmented the space battle scene by adding the planet of Yavin in the background of the Death Star space battle. It's amazing. And then he actually actually added more TIE fighters in, in the scene. He also puts the original version of the cantina scene between Han Solo and Greedo. So that's what's amazing about it is you get the benefits of special edition, the benefits of 81's uh, addition to it, and then you get the original Star Wars so the cantina scene is back to its original scene where Han shoots, Greedo does not shoot at all. It's, it's, it's a phenomenal, ph phenomenal work. And now we have come to The Empire Strikes Back Revisited, which had taken about 10 years for 81 to finish. And after watching it, I am blown away. Some of the things that he did were amazing. Like, he actually built his own version of the carbonite block that Han Solo is frozen in because he noticed that the shirt, the, the shirt that Han Solo is wearing in The Empire Strikes Back is not the same 
as a shirt that's worn in Star Wars. But in the Carbonite block, this, the, the shirt that's seen in the block is a shirt from Star Wars. So major continuity flaw right there, but 81 had to fix that, and it looks amazing. It's completely flawless. Other things that he fixed were the, the, the Hoth battle with the, the At-Ats. Whoa, that's amazing. He added more At-Ats. He added uh, more walkers, and it's just phenomenal. It's, it's just amazing. The, the explosion of the shield generator improved effect of the shield generator explosion the colors that the the film itself is crisp it's perfect looking the colors are great there's that one scene in the empire strikes back when luke arrives to dagobah and then archer's in the water and he gets shot out and then luke goes over to grab him and he says you're lucky you don't taste very good that's the original line and for some reason, in a special edition, they changed the line to... You were lucky to get out of there. <sighs> for some reason. But 81 put the original line back in. He did an amazing job with The Empire Strikes Back. And honestly, I have to say, because it includes the original Empire Strikes Back, the special edition, because the special edition movies did some great enhancements and great... Like, for example, on Cloud City where they're inside Cloud City, he, where the, in the special editions, it now includes windows where you can see outside and it, make, it makes more sense because it's, it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful um, skyscape, a beautiful scenery outside and, and you're up in the sky. Why would you be all boxed in with all these walls? So they, put, they took those out and they put, they put windows so you can see out and that's great. And 81 included that in his the Empire Strikes Back Revisited. So it's things like that that just makes the movies the movies so much better. And I if you can find it, I highly recommend it. It is amazing. And this will be my definitive version of The Empire Strikes Back. So whenever I watch The Empire Strikes Back, I will watch The Empire Strikes Back Revisited. And if 81 just happens to be watching this video, I would just I just want to say that thank you for all the work that you put in for these movies, the Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and making your enhancements. They're amazing. I love them. They're the definitive version for me. And these are the movies that I will watch. And I really appreciate your work, 81. And I'm looking forward to Return of the Jedi Revisited. Thanks for watching Star Wars Obsessed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. You can also check out more of my collection at the Star Wars Obsessed blog.